We're going to talk about the radon risk. You can see from a map the Oregon health leaders say that nearly the entire Portland metro area is at high to moderate risk. We told you about the same sort of risk in Clark County yesterday. Well, tonight, Amy Frazier is live in the newsroom with this health alert and what you can do to reduce your exposure. Well, that's right. Oregon health officials are encouraging all homeowners to test for radon. And I found out that whether you live in a high or low risk area, radon levels can actually vary from home to home. Molly and Dick Fry decided to test their southeast Portland home in the Woodstock neighborhood for radon. And they're glad they did. Evidently, there's a lot of trouble in this particular zip code. And uh, uh, so we decided it's better to be safe than sorry. They started with a home kit like this one, available at the hardware store for about 15 bucks. Something Oregon's radon coordinator tells me is easy to use. Basically, you take one of these test kits home, you leave it on your shelf for a couple of days. Usually, it's about three to five days. At the end of that time frame, you send the test kit into the laboratory. Test results confirmed by professionals with Cascade Radon showed high levels of radon. Makes you a little tense. I found out radon is a naturally occurring radioactive gas that comes up from the ground and is drawn into buildings where it can build up to dangerous levels. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the U.S. after cigarette smoking. The only way to know if there's a health risk at your home is by testing. So unfortunately, it's not something you're going to have symptoms. You're not going to feel dizzy. You're not going to feel stuffy or anything like that. It's going to do its damage without you actually knowing it's happening. If you do have high radon levels, the Fry's found out the problem is fixable, costing about $1,600 to $2,500. What a radon system typically does is by creating a suction or negative pressure under the building, you're telling the radon to stay down and not come into the building, and then you vent it to above the roof line typically. A fix that has brought the fries some peace of mind. Now you can look up your zip code online to see if you are in a high risk area for dangerous levels of radon. We've put a link for you at coin.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.